Oh, what that the was hell? not a sable guy. Definitely not a sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. <laughs> we had some internet technical problems, so we lost a little bit of that, but not too much. So here's hoping. At any rate, we're back on the case. Looks like Standish knows something, but we kind of bungled that, so. Oh, MJ is mad. Well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. <sighs> Poor Spider Man. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie. Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ? No, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker? Right. <sighs> you know, this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military... You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... <sighs> no. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. <laughs> nice work, Mr. Superhero. Done fucked up there, buddy. Well, yeah, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. Let's see what we can find out there in the midst of the city. Maybe another black cat location. 1043, we have a hostage situation involving a tourist bus. Well, let's hope our internet stays stable for the rest of this. Unfortunately, the last one was, um, uh, cut short. I'm gonna look at my map real quick because I'm not able to see Black Cat very well on the map or the Black Cat icons, at least from my mini map where it's at, so we'll set a waypoint. Try to avoid that. I've left enough activities free so I can just kind of make smooth That's transitions Miles, from one thing to Hello? another. Mr. Parker, it's Drio Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Aime know, and I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. So we'll be able to do some work with Miles soon. Felicia thinks she's toying with me, but I learned something in each of these scenes. Do you now? Well, let's hope you do, Pete. Bingo. There you are. I think some big-time lawyer lives here. I bet she's after his client list to find new targets. Hate to admit it, but she's one smart cat. 1034. Demons are firing on police. Location. Alright, let's try and get Over. this. I'm gonna assume that's where the police chopper is and try and stop it. Alright, let's go get demons are getting worse than the schedule was. Officers, pull your wounded back. I'll handle this. Damn. Took 
got a bunch of dudes. Oh, shit, more joining the party. That was me getting sloppy on my game, my bad. That web webbed up fucking weird, yo. <laughs> oh my lord. Talk about a messed up on my scenario. Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Let's go see what Doc's got cooking. Hopefully he's making some progress. Man has big dreams. They're good dreams. City at night looks pretty beautiful, though I kind of prefer it during the day with um, uh, clear skies. Hopeful, even, you know, like New York should feel. Still, it's a nice, beautiful, well lit, calm night. I got comfortable weather on my end, um, uh, outside the broadcast, so all around everything's good. Apart from the demons wreaking havoc, they should. The boss wants a sit rep on the garrison in Chelsea. See this new shit doc? What do you got in mind? Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Alright, puzzle time. Nice, fast, and easy. Okay, looks like I could optimize this power relay. See that there? All right, no problem. Quick fix. Wow. This puzzle's really stumping me just a little bit. All right, 
let's try this. There we go. Nice. Okay, what next? <sighs> They're definitely like getting a little more challenging, these puzzles, so here's hoping. Science finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. There we go. Very nice. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. Thank you. 
man makes some impressive robotics, that's for damn sure. Success. I call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Poor Doc. Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. That's... You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like really to keep it dumb. that way. Really? Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. Huh. Have a gander around the lab, see what all's new here before we leave. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. Impressive. Real impressive. Oh, got ourselves wedged between a table here. Have a gander at Some interesting logos. Uh, it seems like um, uh, the one in the interface is the one he's been going with. So, starting to suspect he hides it but I can tell he's seen my twitch noticed the decay of my fine motor control well I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant of course he knows <sighs> I just need more time my work can improve millions of lives save millions of lives it can also save my own I just need more time. Don't we all, Doc? Don't we all? Hmm. Well, 
flexibility, huh? That's what we're looking for. Direct interface with the basal what? ganglia. How did she Exciting. take that? Alexa, make living room 100. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. <laughs> Even she then, odds of injury the are pretty high. Sometimes. Gallium! <laughs> Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. A lot of iffy stuff in this scenario we're looking at. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telephone. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. The device will need two parts to function. The first will be an entirely original prosthesis, a modular system of micro cables able to take on any number of forms, whatever the user can imagine. The second part, and this, Peter, is the true genius, is a direct neural interface, a direct tap straight into the basal ganglia. Unleash the brain from your mind to reality. This goes beyond limb replacement, Peter. This will free all of us from the shackles of our bodies. Like your web friend, soon we'll all be capable of living our most amazing fantasies. Man has a lot of hope for mankind. A lot of hope. I think we've seen all we can see here, though, and I think we're going to start progressing. We've wasted enough time at the lab, seeing all the new goodies coolness daytime now wow seems like we spent longer in the lab than just those few minutes on camera right <laughs> hi may let me guess running late nope i'm actually on my way now have you heard from miles no but his mother said he was coming so good i'll be there soon bye Let's get to the feast center. Miles needs a bit of um uh All units, the truck carrying an armed goodwill is evading pursuit. Additional officers requested near flat iron. Folks, you've no doubt heard about the riot at Empire State University. But this is not your usual toxic mix of underage drinking, entitled millennials, and hormones oh run rampant. Authorities are keeping a tight lid on the situation, but my sources tell me the demons drug the students turning them into deadly rage machines. What has become of our fair city, lady? JJ, you have some wild theories, my friend. I mean, you're not too far off in this case, but... What Damn, are you you're... Here? You're really reaching sometimes, buddy. Oh, we got a fighter. <laughs> You Ooh. just made your last mistake, Honk. Bye. The... Does it seem
seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager? All right. Take care of those pumps. You hurt? You're Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros. Okay? Uh, okay, but what if there aren't this any around? This kid is nerding out hard. Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time. But when I do it, I have to... Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. <laughs> The other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's it's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing, don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow. This is a nice little moment. Breathe deep. One of the ones I like a lot. Keep square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet. When they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jaw. Okay? I can. <clears throat> oh, sh. S sorry. No, no. No. It's all good. <laughs> you keep that up and uh, you'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey. Uh, thanks. You know. Anytime. Just punch Spider-Man. <laughs> this kid's geeky out hard. I love it. He's a good kid. I have kids to feed. Shelter should be just ahead. Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider-Man. What? That's crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would have bought it off you, and then we'd be, like, famous. Yeah, I'll show him next time. I, I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Uh, cool. Later. Farmer's market. I can cut through there. Kidding me? It's gonna take forever. That drone wasn't watching. I could jump the fence. Do you know anyone by the name of Martin Lee? Wow, that was too easy. I can't believe Sable systems are unsecured. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. I think I'll stay clear of those guys. Okay, hacking app. Don't fail me now. Time to move. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I can go under the gate on the left, or over the scaffolding to the right.
I've got Ken on line three with some thoughts. Ken, you're on with J. Jonah James. First of all, I just want to say it's an honor to be on your show. No! Damn. Thought I'd be safe there. This one's getting tricky. The sneaking is getting trickier, too. I mean, we're making good progress, but shit, if things aren't getting... Okay, my faithful listeners, I've been getting a lot of calls about this Sable International outfit that's assisting police with the search for suspects in the city hall block. I've got Ken on line three with some thoughts. Ken, you're on with J. Jones. First of all, I just want to say it's an honor to be on your show. Thank you, Ken. You just earned yourself a copy of my new book. J. Jonah Jameson, always right, never wrong. Uh, I already have one. Can I get a t-shirt or something instead? No, now get this. So I got this buddy on the force who says that these Sable people don't report to police or nothing. He says they report directly to the mayor. Is that true? <clears throat> okay. I'm in the clear. Phew. Ooh. That was intense. Yeah. Oh, hey, Mom. Hi, honey. Did you make it to the thief shelter okay? Uh, yeah, almost there. Miles, you don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guys said everyone grieves in their own way. This is mine. Okay, sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. I love you so much. We'll get through this, okay? I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. Well, we finally made it. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place. Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. <laughs> you sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. I'm a piece of junk. <laughs> oh, hell! Damn hunk of junk! Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these CR when they're... CR what, what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Got the time. Get it. Go! Or, could be a loose coax cable. <sighs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerged that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, hey new kid. I'm empty wife, here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. Hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's going to be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Good one, Pete. Uh, Good one. Listen, kid, I'm, I'm sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Ant-Man needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh... Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. 
Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Almost noon. Sable should be moving Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. I'm afraid our computers are a bit outdated. Oh, that's cool. I might be able to improve their performance for you. Really? Oh, wow. Look at this smart kid. Good fucking helper. Peter knows how to get good people for good reasons. And to treat them well. It's the one thing about Spider-Man. I mean, he's always... He's not what I'd call a goody two shoes like I'm a Superman or them. They're a little too ah uh, shit. What's the word? For lack of a better term, white bread. But Peter's not so much white bread. He has a lot of empathy, not just for um uh, those around him, but those in similar situations, and it it, it shows. It's just good plain decency and superhero or not you, you just love to see that sometimes there's something about it that hey yuri i'm heading to the bowery to make sure michaels gets to his new safe house you know safely i wouldn't do that silver sable made it clear you are not welcome yeah well what's she gonna do shoot me honestly 50 50 chance ah uh, fine I'll be in the neighborhood, but not too close. Just in case. Alright, let's see what we got going on. We're ready for you, Dr. Michaels. Is that the devil's breath? It's called GR-27, not... <sighs> Just be careful. In the wrong hands, this could... Don't worry, we're the best in the world. <laughs> I feel better already. Code 381, package is on the move. This way, Dr. Michaels. What the hell is that? Because your convoy was conspicuous enough already. For the demons. Hold on! Secure the package! These guys aren't fucking around, and all you really done here was paint a big ass bullseye on this poor oh. bastard's back. You Welcome are aboard, dumb as fuck. Doctor. Yeah, that sounds about right, Lord. So <laughs> Get off me! We got this! Yeah, sure you do. I'm in pursuit of Martin Lee. I think he's got Dr. Michaels and the Devil's Breath. Copy that. More units coming your way. He took Michaels alive, so that's good. Probably so we can force him to make more Devil's Breath. I have to stop that truck. Tank, whatever. Spider-Man, get clear. You are 
Interfering in this operation. Sorry, but I'm not on board with Operation Knuckles in Manhattan. How many guys did he fit in this damn thing? I know it's an ABC, I know it's large, but this seems excessive for... I need to clear the guys in the trucks before I go after Lee. Something's coming, buddy. Sorry. Lee, hand it over. I had no idea you were so well versed in APCs, but thanks for the info dump there. Much appreciated. Eh? What's your status? Have you apprehended Lee? Now we're in trippy dreamland. Welcome hell? to my I nightmare, must be folks. Honest. I was hoping <laughs> to bring you here. My abilities lend me a certain persuasiveness. I've been watching you. I was waiting for you at City Hall. You never came. Where were you? Is this real or in my mind? It was a shame so many had to die with no heroes to save them. That officer saved your life, didn't he? He was here because of you. And Norman wanted to use him. A futile gesture in the end. And where was Norman during all this? Slinking away like a rat. He knew what was going to happen, and he fled. Norman is a hidden cancer on this city. He must be exiled with no trace of his corruption to return. Norman hides behind his mask of lies. I will break it apart and drag him into the light. Put on the mask. Become one of us. Thanks, I don't no think thanks. So. One way or the other, you will join me. Uh oh. Victim, you couldn't save. Martin, their blood is on your hands. You can stop Oswald. You have so much strength. I can give you will. Their bodies filled the gutters, and you did nothing. What's one life? A simple trade. One life for a city of souls. I won't abandon you in 
the darkness, Martin. I will break you and leave you brain dead. You can't. You can come back to the light. I will find you. No. Oh, we got out of that predicament rather easily, surprisingly, but still. Whew. Martin must have been worn out there because it didn't look like he made any further effort to stop Spider-Man from doing that. He just kind of calmly sat and let it happen. I'm kind of surprised, but maybe that was part of his plan all along. Are you okay? Did they take it? Yes. How worried should I be? Very. Oh boy. You're a popular guy. And Silver Sable's coming in because she doesn't have anything else better to do than to shit on Spider-Man for all the efforts Where he put he forward. I'm gone. To destroy ya. So-called superhero. You think you save people, but you just make it worse. This is your fault. My fault. I didn't see you doing protection? any better, lady. Jesus. You really need two of those? Stop! We need to brief Mr. Osborne now. I'll go with her. Thank you. I'll remember this. Well, the situation just went from fucked up to more fucked up. Silver Sable, for all their bravado, ain't helping shit. They got a lot of talk, but not Yuri, much balls. Yuri, tell me you've got a lead on Martin Lee's location. We have footage from a guy at a coffee shop. Looks like he hopped into a black sedan after the crash. Black sedan, great. Let me finish. We have a partial plate. And one of my patrol guys just found a matching plate. Black sedan in a parking lot near Canal and Hudson. You're a good cop, Yuri. I'm on my way. Spider-Man. Hello? Is this working? Dr. Michaels? How are you calling? Borrowed on one of Sable's radios. Listen, transit hubs are the most likely release points for Devil's Breath. Airports, bus terminals, train stations. It'll spread like wildfire from there. Why the hell is Oscorp developing a bioweapon in the city? Shouldn't this be in an arctic bunker? Devil's Breath is personal for Norman. It's been his obsession for decades. The project breaks every state and federal regulation on the books, but he doesn't care. If the city finds out, he can kiss re-election goodbye. Never mind re-election. He'd be tried in the Hague for war crimes. Why are you telling me all this? Aren't you just as culpable as Norman? Yes. Completely. But Lee's actions have been a wake-up call. We've ignored the project's risk for too long. I trust you, Spider-Man. You're the only one trying to do the right thing. Please, protect the city from our mistakes. Well, at least someone has a fucking conscience as Osgort, but that ain't saying much now. We still don't know as far as where we're at in the story. I may know, but what Martin Lee's true motivations are other than he really hates Norman and he knows he's Doc lying and he work. wants to expose it. Parker, I wanted to thank you. Your work on the neural interface has been invaluable. I wish you could see what that means right now. But it's beginning to dawn on me just how powerful and insidious the forces arrayed against true visionaries are. I promise you though, it won't be long. Success will come, whatever it takes. Powerful and insidious forces. I don't like the sound of that. Need to check on Doc when I get a chance. No, not much going Devil's on here. I should call MJ and Warner. Especially given this what's is Mary Jane Watson. Here. Please leave a detailed message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. What are you up to now, MJ? 
Oh, MJ's doing what she does best. Investigating. Not necessarily her fault. Everything she investigates brings trouble. I mean, yeah, a little bit, but she's just a good reporter wanting to get to the bottom of it. You know, any other reporter would be in the same danger. Peter needs to stop letting things get so personal sometimes. Standish said the demons are looking for something at GCT. But what could they possibly need here? Should probably call Peter and let him know what I'm doing. Actually, scratch that. He'd probably just tell me to go home and chain myself to my laptop. I'll just check things out quick and let him know what I find. Specially formulated microbes into the atmosphere and in turn leaves our oceans and rivers cleaner than when man first walked the earth. Mr. Lee. This will be easier for everyone if you remain calm and do as I say. Police! Over here! No! Well, this man means business now. Ain't no stopping him. He's got every all the pieces in place. You don't make a move like that unless you're serious. I'd like to speak to Mayor Osborne. Who's calling? The man he is looking for. What do you want? I want you at Grand Central Terminal in 30 minutes. By yourself. Or there'll be more blood on your hands. I'd say it takes a lot of effort to crush the phone, but we've seen the durability of phones these days. <laughs> Some drones patrolling. Guess he's prepared for you. Don't worry, I'm in the ventilation system. Can you see a safe exit point? Where the hell is Spider Man? Southwest corner. On my way. This is a rather clever sequence. If I get any closer, the drones will spot me. See that tablet I'm looking at? That controls the drones. Think you can snag it? Yes, if you can distract them and not get shot. I'm ready. Tell me when. Okay, I'm ready. Incoming. Me shot swallow up. Osborne. I can help make sure he arrives on time. How? First, let him go. 
，遵命。把他带到这边来，跟其他人分开。李先生马上就到。Fucking up already. This is just a trend tonight with these sequences, but I mean, this is a good sequence. I like how they kind of tag team this together. She can't, you know, do much but be a spotter, but still, it's better than sitting on the sidelines and doing nothing, so. I like the dynamic. wasn't the plan before, but we've got a guy coming to check it out, so it's the plan now. Wait! Oh, shit. I didn't expect him. I thought he was going to come up the stairs like a normal human being. What the fuck, dude? Not exactly. What do you mean? 
I thought something might happen, but not like this. Why didn't you tell me? I thought we were partners. Hey, partners trust each other, Peter. What do you mean? I trust you? Yeah, when I'm sitting at home behind a laptop. Oh, come on. Can we please get back to saving the city here? Take him out. Now. Take him. Do it. Now. Take him. Start the timer. Keep him busy. I'll take care of the devil's breath. You know what you're doing? No. That's never stopped me. Oh, okay. Looks like the blue is connected to the battery, and yellow to a fan. Red one has a little exclamation mark. Okay. You'll want to detach the wires from the battery first. Trace the wires to the other end and unplug them from there. Okay. Unplug the wires from the battery. the first wire. Now the second one. The other uh, what? The timer just changed to 30 seconds. Ah, oh, it's a collapsing circuit. What comes next? The fan? Yes. 
Yes. No. <laughs> well. <laughs> that was a disaster. Okay, what do you see? I see four wires. Two blue ones, one yellow and one red. Look for the source of the wires. Oh, okay. Looks like the blue is connected to the battery and yellow to a fan. Red one has a little exclamation mark. Okay. Okay. Pull the first wire. Now the second one. <laughs> Boo. I'll get this eventually. We meant to do it right the first time. Now we're just doing process of elimination, yo. Okay. What do you see? I see four wires. Oh, okay. Looks like the blue is connected to the battery, and yellow to a fan. Okay, pull the first wire. No! <laughs> well. I think we've got this. <laughs> blue ones, one yellow and one red. Look for the source of the wires. Oh, okay. Looks like the blue is connected to the battery and yellow to a fan. Red, okay. Pull the first wire. What? The timer just changed to 30 seconds. Ah, it's a collapsing circuit. What comes next? The fan? Yes, then the last wire. But you have to hurry. Okay, now the red one. Got it. You did it. Wow. Yeah. Now let's get these people out of here. I could use a little Spidey help. You ready? Right. I'll clear a path. Try to do it quietly. Will do. All right. Now we gotta be all. Baby, Antoine. Hostages will get hurt. He's still got quite a few men here. Let's get this guy taken out. Bam. All right. Why is Lee so hellbent on terrorizing New York? All right, let's get all these high grounders first.
We're just going back and forth now. Just need to take out a few more. Then it'll be safe for you to move. Hurry. Okay, MJ, time to go. Copy that. Everyone, follow me! Big Avenger, the Kasha Juju Shah! That went MJ, pretty smoothly. Did you make it out? Yeah. Everyone's safe. Good job. Hey, Peter. Yeah? When they're done here, we should talk. Yeah, we should. But first, follow me and kick his ass. Bad for anyone who's on the wrong side of MJ. I wonder what side I'm on right now. Okay, guys, trivia time. Did you know Grand Central has the largest basement in New York City? Crazy, right? You could fit half the Brooklyn Bridge down there. Ha! Ah, I agree. You sure don't make them like they used to. That's old school New York guns is for you. Right. Anyway, I could talk trivia all day, but I gotta stop your wingnut of a boss from destroying the city. Time to wrap this up. He's escaped plan is to use the train. Can't let him get away. Train platform is open. That must be where Lee is. All kinds of ants. Lee's getting away. This episode's a little longer than I expected, but we got a few things to grab. Finally. Yeah, I it, so. Sorry I'm late. It's kind of my thing. Looks like 
she's getting tired. I am just not doing well on the counters with this battle, but so it goes. No brakes? No problem. That uh, totally worked last time. Yuri, they still doing construction on 42nd and 1st? Streets closed for another month. Why? <laughs> Up, prison. Jane Watson, please leave a detailed message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh -huh. uh, hey, it's me. Let me know when you want to talk. Texting isn't talking? <laughs> the spider man. You're such a dork sometimes, but we love you for it. No, 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 not that kind of over. Oh, Jesus. What a stupid text, buddy. You need to stop. Say no, please say no. Huh. Okay, okay. And not okay. <laughs> you poor guy. What is there to figure out? Um, a lot of stuff, buddy. Like, you keep treating her like a precious princess. Oh, you think? Oh, poor Spider-Man. Well, oh, great. Try and get your shit together in the meantime, buddy. Well, that's the one big threat taken you did out. It. Lee's off to the raft. The Devil's Breath is safe with Sable. How do you feel? How do I feel? How much time do you have? Not much. Heroics for you means paperwork for me. But I just wanted to say, good job. Thanks, Yuri. 
I kind of needed that. Uh, more than you know. More than you know. All this time with Lee, I've been ignoring the city. Time to get back to being a friendly neighborhood Spidey. Plenty left to do. Well. We got a bit of a breather real quick. Let's go. Grab a little item of interest and then we'll take a brief break and get back to maybe one more episode. We're doing good so far tonight, though. Alicia's keeping busy, but I'm catching up. Let's see where she hit but this time. I have time. an idea of where we're gonna. We're not quite ready to end it yet. I know this one's longer, but let's call this some, um, uh. Brief, um, uh, prelude to intermission. Aha! Cornelius Van Lunt's place. She's hitting places full of one of a kind valuables. She must be working for someone. Otherwise, why not just steal cash? may have seen lights flickering out at the Rapp Supermax prison last night. Sadly, it was not because one of their inmates got the chair. No. Apparently, someone there hit on an idea I actually think has merit, which is making that recidivist criminal Electro pay for his room and board by powering the prison himself, saving taxpayers money. Not surprisingly, though, it turns out he hates actual work as much as he loves robbing and murdering. So they had to go back to the city's grid, which I'd imagine is why I still can't run my microwave and toaster at the same time without blowing a fuse. Oh, you just bitch you bet everything, James. Jameson just got no happy, happy feels or anything. Sort of under control. Maybe I should put in some Peter Parker time at the lab. Yep. Let's go see how Doc's doing and then we'll call it a day. Get ready for a new episode. Let's go see how Doc's doing. Now that we've got the city under control, hopefully he's in good shape. He's made some better progress, and he's in good shape. Hello? Parker! <laughs> Just in time to celebrate. Celebrate? Wait. Where are the arms? Oh, wow. How did you... Intracranial neural network. Neurotransmission speeds under one nanosecond. Faster than signals travel inside the brain. Never mind to an external prosthesis. We did it, Peter. 
No one can take this away from us. Amazing. That's pretty hit. And your work on the neural web was the key. But we haven't even tested it yet. There's so much we don't know. It works beautifully. Uh, come on, take a look. This is impressive. Hmm, little error, though. Voltage spike. Should be an easy fix. Fix. See if get, that worked. See if we can get Doc back up to shape. Additional components. Oh, Jesus. No, this is worse than I thought. That stabilized it. Damn. Cascading failure. Damn it, the spike is cascading. I don't know if I can fix this. Jesus. Not good signs. Oh, Not bad. good signs. Really, really bad. Doctor?
Doctor, I've found a potential problem. Everything has problems if you look hard enough. But fortune favors the bull. It's time to show the world what we've done. Otto, the neural web isn't isolating your motor neurons. It could be affecting other parts of your brain, your, your inhibitions, your mood. I, I just think we need some more tests. We've got enough tests! For the first time in my life, I don't feel like a failure. I feel like me. He really wanted Otto, this you're to not succeed. A failure, he was doing great work. this could permanently work, damage your mind. God, this please. neural interface that went so horribly wrong right. here. And it's different with Otto because he's a decent guy. Martin Lee may have been a Don't decent worry. guy, but we didn't really see a lot of that. We spent more time knowing Otto. He's personal, I'll but I it. mean, you knew when Otto I'll was going to be in bugs. this, you kind of had a suspicion that the Doc Go. Ock persona might Go. take over at some point. You sure and... you're okay? Yes. It's coming. Damn sad. Thank you, Peter. It's really for bittersweet here. For everything. We now take you live to Grand Central Terminal, where Mayor Osborne is about to address the media. Martin Lee is and knowing his bars. feelings about Norman Osborne, this, this situation I here didn't. Maybe he might have shut it off for of good will soon make it if this TV had been on. Forever. Maybe. I, it's hard to say. Remember but it's... what I've done. We are all safer now than we have ever been. Liar! Ooh. Ooh. You have no idea what you're in for. Otto, come on, buddy. Don't, don't, don't turn like this. It's rough. It's a rough thing to see. He's been such a good guy throughout, and now this is the thing that pushes him over the edge. Much like shit pushed Martin over, but I don't, I don't know what to say. We'll keep watching. We'll keep doing. Um, we got a lot of um, scene to in this episode. We took out Martin Lee. We had a bunch of really actiony sequences. Stuff with Sable. Hey, Hi, Miles. Oh, I just wanted Miles to see how you're doing with the quick. news about Lee. Look, if you didn't want to work there anymore... May and I would understand. I did want to quit when I heard. Then I remember what my dad used to say. A hero is just a guy who doesn't give up. That's true. Assuming he's doing the right thing. I got you that job. I'd hate for you to keep doing it if you think it's wrong. Oh, the people here... Nothing Martin Lee did is their fault. They need help and I'm helping them. I think Dad would want me to stay. I think he'd be proud. I know he would. And Miles, I'm proud of you too. Anytime you want to talk, just call. Thanks, Pete. Gotta go. May just gave me a list of all the supplies to get. All right, later. Well, at least Miles is doing well. There's some good coming out of this situation. It's, it's still rough. Um, but what else? We dealt with Martin Lee. Had some great action sequences. Got the Devil's Breath secure for the time being, and. Um, witness Doc's transformation into his altered persona, which was probably Congratulations, the Captain. roughest part of the... You got the City Hall bomber. We got him. Tomato, tomato. My point is, you've been burning the candle at both ends lately. You should take a vacation. I'm not exactly uh. the tourist type. But once we've rounded up the rest of Lee's people, maybe I will. No planes, no suitcases, just uninterrupted sleep. Oh, you are a party animal. But hey, whatever floats your cruise ship, or doesn't, you've earned it. Good stuff. It's always funny. At the end of these, they everyone wants to call me. It's it's always, I'm um, a, uh, they got something to say further. But we've made great progress. Um, we're going to bring it home for another one. We'll see how much further we get in the story with one more episode. Um, and we'll see where it goes from there. I'm going to take a brief break. Um... I'm definitely feeling some hunger pains, and I could use a little something to drink, um, relax, and then...
bring it in for another one, but I think, yeah, maybe a couple nights broadcasting, we'll see an end to the story. Hopefully everyone's enjoying, hopefully you're all, um, uh, taking in the story, uh, leave your input, leave your feedback, um, keep watching, keep enjoying, like and subscribe, and definitely feel free to hit us up on either the channel or on the group. And if you don't know where the group is, look me up on Facebook and then ask for an invite. We're always happy to have new people and their voice to the choir. So we'll catch you for the next episode in a few minutes. Laters.